Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR and we are changing it up now. So we're going to switch it out and we're going to do a more of a Dorset um, inspired patrols here and we are using this mod here as you can see by this road sign. It's actually called Lakeside and it is available on unionmods.com and I really like that little statue up there. That looks really, really good. However, it is it is quite the uh, resource drainer so <laughs> we're gonna try it out anyway we're gonna stick up here and we're gonna see how it goes we are in a BMW high performance vehicle with ANPR capabilities we're gonna get out on patrol and we're actually just gonna gonna roll with it we're gonna see how this goes you know, it's either gonna go really bad and crash and whatever else or it's gonna be fine so yeah Join me on patrol and we'll see what kind of madness we can get into. Okay, so we just sat out here by the abandoned uh, hotel there and we've just got an AMPR ping on this grey Focus. And we've expired MOT, so we're just going to see what's going on with that. We'll just get a plate check on them. It's going to be 05 Kilo Tango Foxtrot 314. Is he going to pull over? Oh, he's going to pull over absolutely wonderfully. Right there, that is perfect. We like that. We're just going to back it up a little bit. Turn it to the side a little bit so we've got a little bit of an angle there. And uh, yeah, let's call that in. Oh, we already did that. Registered owner is going to be a Rihanna Cole. So we'll see if it's her that's actually in the vehicle here. Let's just switch that body cam on. Okay. Hello, how you doing? My name's PC Stacks, I'm at Sandy Shores Station. The reason I'm pulling you over is because your vehicle's coming back as having an expired MOT. I don't suppose you've got your ID on you so I know who I'm talking to. Is it Rihanna I'm talking to? It's Rihanna Colt. Perfect. Okay, are well, you aware of that, Rihanna? Where have you just come from? Alright, where are you heading to now? You're going to work. Alright, Rihanna, is your address uh, current and up to date on this license? It is. Okay, Rihanna, sit tight for me. Okay, I'm going to be right back with you. Obviously, in the UK, for any Americans that are watching, they actually don't do it like this, like you guys do it. They actually get them out of the car and put them in the back of their car while they do all this. But for the purpose of that, we're just going to go ahead with this. There she is. She's got a clean license, no wants or warrants, clean arrest record. But she is driving a vehicle with no MOT. Okay, so we are going to give her a... I know it says registration, but we're just role-playing it. So we're going to give her this, a citation, or a fixed penalty notice. It's but, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a notice that basically she has to get it repaired now. Okay, let me just get my clipboard out. Okay, Rihanna, so here's what's going to happen, okay? Your car is coming back as having no MOT. Obviously, you can't be driving it on the road with an MOT, without an MOT. So I'm going to issue you a fixed penalty notice, okay? You need to get the MOT done within the next 14 days, okay? and get this paperwork signed off by an official MOT station and bring it back to a your local police station, okay? To prove that you have in fact got the... Uh, so I don't need a signature from you, it's just in on the spot fine. But okay, like I said, you have 14 days to deliver that, all right? Okay, so here's your copy of that. Okay, Rian, do you have any questions for me? Yes, yeah, so you, you need to either take it to a, a garage right now, okay, or you need to take it home okay and then get it booked in okay that's not to say if you're not stopped by somebody else they might issue you another ticket or even seize your vehicle all right so this ticket isn't an excuse to carry on driving apart from that do you have any other questions for me all right rihanna will you have a good rest of the day okay and get that sorted as soon as possible I'm just gonna drop our clipboard on the floor like that because we are badass if you're wondering where this vest came from this vest is actually from fire buzzard and it was 35 pounds so if you want to grab that you'll have to join his discord and the uniform that i'm using the rest of the uniform that i'm using the hat is from unionmods.com and the other uniform is los santos constabulary so bp from x-ray one one sure state two off of that call we're back available in the mountain Dr mountain view drive area over Okay, we've got a little bit of public drinking here. This ain't a big deal, but we are just going to get rid of them. Right, it's you. Okay, you shouldn't be drinking out here in the streets like this. I'll get rid of that. Okay, we got a vehicle fire to attend. Yes, yeah, all received. You can show us responding to that now. We are going to be about figures 10 out over. Right, yeah, you need to get out of here. Stop drinking. Okay, let's, let's head over there. We need to get over there. ASAP. It's going to be in grape seed, so it's going to be slightly away from where we are. But we'll head over there. Grade 1. Oh, it is. Look at that. Nice. Oh. 
siren that I'm using is actually a Hampshire constabulary siren. It is available on GTA5mods.com if you want that. Okay, looks like we're coming up on the uh, vehicle here. It's going to be this one on the side of the road. I'm just going to block the road off there. Let's just stop the traffic real quick while there's nobody actually in the road. The vehicle is on fire. Okay, let's just grab some cones here. Let's get the fire brigade down here. Well, actually, it needs to be over here, doesn't it? Problem is, if I put them down, it's going to block that truck in. Let's wait for him to go past. There we go. Set that one up there. You would think they wouldn't try to squeeze around, but they will try and squeeze around it. Okay, cool. Let's go drop these back. Oh, actually, let's just stick a couple more here. Stop them going around. My car. Stall traffic cones. We're just going to grab... Uh, so the fire should be out. It doesn't look like it's out. It's still smoking. I just don't want it to explode while I'm next to it. But the fire department did leave, so I assume... Yeah, BP from X-Ray 1-1. One, one. We just had the fire service on scene they have confirmed that it was an arson attack on the vehicle it looks like it's been deliberately set and um, if you want to send us the uh, coordinates for the gps location we'll go chat with the vehicle owner over okay so they're going to patch that through to us inform the owner of the oracle who lives nearby okay let's just grab a tow truck on route for this get that taken care of we're just going to clear these cones away all cones clear traffic control and we'll head over to the address. It's going to be back towards Sandy Shores. We are going to go sort of a grade one response, really. Get over there as fast as possible. Find out what's going on. Okay, here we go. That's ah, going to be one with the crazy bloke outside. When you're in the bush and you're scared out of your motherfucking mind. That's great. That yeah, BP from X-Ray 1-1, one, one. we're on scene. We're going to have a chat with the red stoner now, over. Hello, ma'am. How you doing? My name's PC Stax. I'm at the Sandy Shores Police Station. What would you do in the bush? And the reason I come round yeah. is your vehicle was reported stolen, I believe. Yeah, unfortunately, earlier I tended a vehicle fire and we've uh, uh, figured out, tracing the registration, that now. is indeed your vehicle. She says, I don't believe it. I'm in shock. So it was stolen then and torched. Exactly. I've got some information here for you on what to do now. Hopefully that provides much needed War. clarification. She says, War. thank you very much. Looking at the glass, how War full my insurance should cover way. this. Okay, well that's good to hear. Have a good rest of the day and we'll be in touch with further details. Okay, our investigation will continue and any updates we'll let you know. Um, let me just take a statement from her. Okay, so when was the last time you saw the vehicle? Not dying. We okay, yeah, no problem. Dead. And you had reported it stolen, and that was earlier today. Okay. Yeah, well, we have some information, we have some leads. Um, we've still got people currently investigating the scene, so uh, we'll let you know any, any updates. Oh, I accidentally stopped here, didn't I? I don't know who this crazy guy is outside her house, but... She obviously doesn't mind. Is that so? Right, well, we're going to be back out on patrol anyway. Let's get that body cam off. And then we'll um, see if any more information comes in about that uh, racing vehicles. No, thanks. And we'll see if any more information comes in. See if we can track down that uh, arsonist. Well, I'm actually going to pull this guy over. He's actually got no helmet on. And he's not displaying a rear license plate either. We have a so I'm just going to wait for to see, get him over this bridge and then we're going to pull him over here. There we go. Right, it's going to be a nice pullover. We like that. Let's back it up a little bit. Get that body cam on. I'm just going to turn our ALPRs off and set ourselves busy so we don't get disturbed. Move out of the way so people can actually get by. Might have to just shift over a little bit. That's no problem. Okay. Yeah, BB from X-Ray 1, you can show me out with a stopped vehicle, westbound, Seaview Road, postal code is 2026, it's going to be a one occupant rider, motorcycle, no license plate displayed on the back, it's going to be a white male, white and black baseball cap, white jumper, sleeveless and blue jeans, over. Okay, cool. Hello mate. Alright, my name is PC Stax, I am based outside Sandy Shores Police Station. Okay, the reason I'm stopping you is you're not displaying any registration plates and you're also riding with that helmet all right we've got your driving license on you mate okay i appreciate that thank you kiko all right kiko do you own this bike yeah you just confirm your date of birth for me 
Alright, and the address on this license is current up to date, yeah? Are you known to the police at all? Alright, no problem. Alright, let's get a check on him. Check his background. Do dispatch. Okay, he's valid and clean. You can just do me a favour, just switch it off and just step over to the side, please. I just don't want you getting any ideas, yeah? Taking off or whatever else. Just walk back over here. Let's just get off the road. Okay, that's good, mate. Alright, so does the bike have any registration then? Or you just don't have the plates? Okay, All right, just stay there for me. We're just going to try and get a VIN number here. See what we can find. Okay, there it is right there. We'll just write that down. Write the old VIN number down. All right, oh dear. We need to look where they're going. Okay, mate, I'm just going to pack you down for any weapons, all right? It's just for your safety, my safety. Oh, and he had some class A's on him. Oh dear. All right, spin around for me. Hands you behind your right back. Okay, you are going to be placed under arrest for possession of a class A substance. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm a defense who further mention when questioning something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do so may be given in evidence. All right, I'm just going to pop you in the back of the car. Is there any more drugs in, on the bike concealed anywhere? All right, mate, just pop, hop in the back there. Okay, which head is you getting in? There you go. Yeah, BP from X-Ray 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a arrest on that subject. Uh, it's going to be possession of Class A over. All right, let's just give that the bike a search. Make sure there's nothing else hidden on here that we need to know about. No. Several cell phones. So we found a couple of cell phones. We're just going to bag them up into evidence back here because he might be part of a bigger network. We don't know that. No, just make sure nothing's coming there. Right. Let's get inside here. So this, these, all, most of the vehicles that you're going to see me use over the next few episodes are actually British Gamer 88's vehicles, and they're from, um, he looks familiar, like somebody I know in real life. Right, let's just have a look at him on the computer here. Uh, where was the vehicle record? There was Sanchez. Okay, he's not the registered owner. He's actually registered to a Samantha Martinez. Okay, Kiko, you told me that you own that bike. It's not true, is it? Oh, you live at 2832 Grove Street, and you're all the way out here. Um, I found a couple of phones from Class A, so I'm sort of starting to believe that maybe you're out here attempt to supply or something um so he's got possession of that so far so we'll submit that um we're not going to give him the citation for the um driving without all the rest of it because that can be done in court however we are going to seize the bike which nothing's coming mm -hmm. let's get a truck to come do that and it would be a large flatbed believe it or not because the police have to use certain speed follow certain procedures so it would they would literally send a flatbed that would strap it to that yeah okay yeah bb from x-ray one one you can show us state seven we'll be on route back to the station with one in transport over all right i think we'll take him back to sandy shores is that the closest station yeah it is been around here wait for it to get clear Okay, let's head back to the station and we'll get him booked in. Okay, let's pull him here, get him taken care of. Pass him off to another cop, we're not going to bother with that ourselves. They're going to take care of him, we're just going to back it out of here, see where that funny looking thing is going. Dog unit. And I would have done a dog patrol, but that car does not allow dogs to get into the back of it for some reason. We're just going to park out here. Switch the engine off. Nope, that's the wrong button. Switch the engine off, and we're going to finish it out there. But before we go, let's just have a look at the court cases here. Let's just see exactly what happened to Rihanna here. She got the uh, fixed penalty notice, and she did receive a fine of £383 which is quite high, so maybe she probably didn't achieve the MIT in the correct time frame. And he had the possession of heroin. He received a £4,000 fine, but he was spared prison time. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Till next time, I will see you in the next video where we will be continuing on with our Dorset-inspired patrols. Till next time, guys, take care of yourselves. See you in the next video. Take care.